This is Chris Kumekucha, political blogger, kumekucha.blogspot.com, over the last 12 years plus. Yeah, and I've focused mainly on political issues. I have predicted the outcome of our elections in the past, personally. I've also given people uh, predictions of the elections from men of God whom I trust and whom I believe are talking uh, the truth. And so far, so good. Okay? Now, what I'm going to attempt to do now in this recording is to give you a collection of the prophecies of men of God about what, it, what is going to happen in the 2017 elections, yeah, and also who is going to win the 2017 elections, okay? What I have done is that uh, I have uh, collected not one, but several of the serious men of God whom I believe are really men of God, yeah, and whom I really believe have been given messages by the Almighty concerning the elections in Kenya. And I appreciate Kenyans belong to different religions. I appreciate not everybody is a Christian, but I have focused only on Christian prophets and Christian men of God, because those are the only ones I know, those are the only ones I understand. Okay. So let's just get right on it uh, straight away. Now the prophets that I left out, or the men of God I left out, because the Bible says very clearly, the only test of a true prophet is if they, what they prophesy, what they say, comes to pass. Okay? And a prophecy is not saying that uh, you'll wake up tomorrow when you're okay and you'll go to work. That's not a prophecy. A prophecy is something like, if I can give you a very hypothetical example, is that when you wake up tomorrow, no single car in Kenya will be working because of a computer malfunction, yeah, which will affect all cars, something crazy like that. That's a prophecy, okay? So let's be clear on that. Now the 2017, uh, prophecies of the 2017 elections have been made even more difficult and complicated because of a certain word which at least one man of God gave, which I believe is true, where they said that there's a spirit of lying messages that will fall on the prophets in the land this season, yeah? Which will mean that many of them will give false prophecies, things which will not actually come to pass. Now, if you read your Bible, you will remember in the Bible, uh, the Almighty gave uh, false prophecies. They gave, he gave them a spirit. And all the prophets gave false prophecies. There were prophets, yes, but a uh, spirit of lying and false messages came upon them. Okay? So I suppose this is what this man of God meant. So this is what complicates it even further and makes it more difficult. Okay? But here goes. Now, a lot of the leading prophets indicated that God has already decided what is going to happen. Yeah? And God has already decided what is best for Kenya. Now, uh, those of you who don't know, Kenya, according to many people, is a chosen country. It has got a special place in God's plan. Okay? So this is one of the reasons why you find that there's so much uh, strife, there's so much stress in Kenya. Because when you're chosen, your life cannot be smooth. Okay? I think that's given because there are loads of people fighting, uh, fighting against your destiny fighting against your position and so on and so forth. The enemy will always fight against your position, okay? So God has already decided what is best for Kenya. So this man of God said, people should not worry when they're going to vote and they should not get stressed by the elections. All they need to do is go and vote and leave the rest to God. Because let's look at it even practically. What can you do? If you worry, will you change anything? Nope. So just go and vote don't worry, it is taken care of. Now, the, the, other, the most amazing thing about uh, prophecies of the 2017 elections is that most of the leading uh, prophets have predicted and have prophesied that there's going to be a lot of problems in these elections. But the problem will not come after the election. That's what I found very, very puzzling and uh, amazing. The problem will come before the election. One man of God even went out and singled a few Nairobi cities and towns. Yeah, uh, they mentioned Nairobi, Mombasa, Eldoret, and Kisumu. Um, Nakuru was also mentioned, 
But the interesting thing is that uh, this man of God said that he saw that Nam- Nakuru, the serpent in Nakuru, which was supposed to bring all the problems, was bound and their movements were limited. Okay? So Naku- it's like Nakuru was spared the brunt of a lot of problems. Okay? The other surprising or shocking uh, uh, prophecy that came out was that God is beginning to answer the prayers of dismantling tribalism in our country. If you've been following the Kumekucha blog, you know that that is a subject which is very close to my heart. Yeah? And therefore, of course, it attracted a lot of my interest. And actually what was said was a very amazing that the prayers against uh, tribalism had reached almost like their peak. Yes? And that uh, we should watch and see what will happen in these elections concerning tribalism. Okay? Uh, somebody even went and put uh, put it uh, went on further and said uh, that tribalism will be like the chariots of Egypt, which were trying to cross the Red Sea and then their wheels were removed by God. Yeah, so the chariots of tribalism will be moving forward as usual, very menacing, very strong, but suddenly they'll find that their wheels have been removed. Now, one of the other reasons why I found that prophecy very amazing is the fact that uh, what happened in the Nairobi primaries of the Jubilee Party. Okay? Uh, somebody tried to use tribalism to force a candidate and something very amazing happened in Nairobi. I reported it in this channel. And uh, I think that is one thing which has made me have a lot of confidence in this particular prophecy, despite what we see unfolding in the country concerning tribalism. Okay? It is the glimmer of hope it is that small cloud in the air, that small cloud in the sky, that uh, is giving me confidence that uh, this could actually come to pass. Okay. Now make sure you catch part two of this uh, collection of uh, prophecies of the 2017 elections, where we'll go into the win of the election and other very crucial issues. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's actually much shorter than this first section. You know what to do, just click on that uh, link in the top left hand corner of your screen right now and just go straight to it. See you there in a second. This is Chris Kumekuchan.